Hey guys, Paul Wilson here from Fat Burner Bootcamp and I'm just doing right now, this very second, running some Facebook questions that I'm answering for you live in these videos. Um, so, Carol Taylor has just asked, been training hard six nights a week for the last three years and she's lost 100 pounds. That's awesome. Nice one, Carol. Um, but this year, I've, I've been on a real plateau. Uh, five pounds on and off for the last six months or so. Any tips? Let me just quickly ask you a question right now, Carol. Um, mm -mm. How much do you want to lose? Left to lose. And yeah, so how much have you got left to lose for your ideal weight? Um, I'm just going to let you answer that right now, Carol. Um, but firstly, if you've hit a plateau, uh, we need to look at exactly what you're doing with your exercise, with your recovery as well. And one point I want to kind of drill home to everybody right now is that less is more. Um, I see a lot of people that at first will lose weight because the introducing exercise <clears throat> uh, into their diet, so into their routine, but because they're going at it like a bull in a china shop and just do, trying to do as many workouts as possible, and um, get, they think that the more that they do, the more or the closer they're going to get to their goal, it's not necessarily the case. Certainly, when you've lost the bulk of your weight and you've got that last little bit to lose, I'm just waiting for your reply now, uh, Carol. Um, when you've got that last little bit to weigh, then you want to start balance, really focus on balancing out your hormones uh, with regards to your cortisol levels. Because a lot of training, you're doing six workouts a week. That's a lot. So if those six workouts are pretty intense, then you need to be doing six restoration workouts or routines as well as. Which basically by that, I mean for every workout that you do, for in every intense workout, you want to make sure that you do um, something that relaxes you, something that brings stress and cortisol down. Because if you're constantly training really, really hard, at first you're going to lose weight. But then when we want to get that last shaving off our body, then we've got to start training a lot smarter. Um, in particular, you're probably struggling with belly weight or that little pod around the belly. And... Um, and that is really related down to cortisol. Cortisol is the stress hormone that we want to bring down. And we do that by improving your sleep, by not doing so many training sessions, probably cut down to three a week instead of doing the six. And um, making those workouts intense, but then doing three, if you're doing three intense workouts, do three restoration workouts. So what's a restoration workout? This could be stretching. This could be foam rolling, which will be another video because foam rolling is awesome and I, I want to introduce that. That's you guys if you haven't uh, have heard of it already. Um, it could be yoga. I love yoga. Great for your um, for de-stressing, for unwinding, for that relaxation, but also great for your mobility and stretching out your muscles as well. So yoga is great to use. If you're in Warsaw, certainly check out Bliss Yoga. Uh, they're on Facebook, so check them out. And um, what else can you do? Lung walking, um, doing stuff that just literally unwinds your mind and de-stresses you from the day. Certainly, the majority of my clients that are in like a lot of sales jobs or desk jobs or driving and things like that, it's really, really stressful. And they don't get to move much, so they come to boot camp and they start moving their body. And they... Um, they also get stressed out a lot. So when they come home, they're still wired. Okay, so we've got to implement things to bring that stress levels down. Those stress levels down. Um, let's see if you reply, Carol. <whistles> Give me a reply, or I'm not going to answer. I'm hoping I'm answering it for you anyway. Um, so yeah, you want to make sure that you're not stressing out too much, and you're doing things that will help you unwind. Um, from 4 p.m. onwards, we want that cortisol to start coming down. And what I absolutely love, as I mentioned before in the video, is Tulsi tea. T-U-L-S-I-T. And uh, the holly basil plant that is used to make the Tulsi tea literally is an adapt adaptation herb which will lower cortisol levels. So I have two to three cups before bedtime and it'll bring those stress levels down. Ensure that you're getting about eight hours of sleep and... Uh, do more relaxing things. I'd probably cut back those six workouts now. You've done great to lose the 100 pounds, uh, Carol. Now you want to start doing things that unwind you, de-stresses you. Uh, make sure your workouts are not 
longer than 45 minutes. Um, anything over 45 minutes, you're going to start producing a lot of cortisol, and that's going to give you belly fat, and it's going to, again, give you that plateau. Also ensure all of our programs at Bootcamp start on week one, two, three, four, and they progress. So you'll never be doing the same workouts over and over again. The reason why we get fat instructors, guys, is because that workout that they teach over and over and over again doesn't change over the years, and every now and again, the only thing that changes is the music, okay? So that's why we get fat instructors. So if you're doing a workout, now, Carol, that you've been doing for the last year or so, and it's no longer going to work it to you, start changing up. Start introducing kettlebells. Start introducing, uh, which I love kettlebells. Start, I've just bought an Atlas stone. Start using an Atlas stone. Barbells. Start using more resistance based exercises. Uh, but I'll, there's plenty of videos going around that I've posted up on YouTube, which will help you with your exercise. Uh, but just shake things up, change things around. Uh, so I hope that, in a nutshell, answers your question, Carol. Let me just check, refresh. See if you replied. No, you haven't. Drop me an email at info at fatburnerbootcamp.com, uh, Carol, just to let me know if it's a little bit of weight that you're looking to lose, that stubborn body fat, and I'll help you a little bit more. Uh, so, guys, keep the questions coming at facebook.com forward slash fatburnerbootcamp. Cheers.